Welcome to the Healthcare Provider Happy Hour. This is a safe space where we invite healthcare providers to unapologetically be themselves after the working day. My name is Jennifer George, and each week I will connect you with guests and stories that will help transform your stress to success and fulfillment. Are you with me? Grab your drink of choice and let's chat. Hey everyone, welcome to the Healthcare Provider Happy Hour. I'm your host, Jennifer George, and I'm joining you this evening with a cup of white tea. I wanna chat with you today about communication. And one of the important aspects that might be missing from your communication regimen or from your communication practice. And when we think of communication, we often think of communicating interpersonally, right? From person to person. So patient to provider, provider to provider. And while that's true, there's also other forms of communication, like communication with oneself. So your self-talk, your affirmations, your gratitudes, things like that. And then the other, the other major component that a lot of people, I think, forget is your communication with the universe, your divine, your God, whatever it might be. And I'll tell you the reason why for this. If you think of the laws of physics, I've talked about this in another podcast, and this was inspired by uh, Oprah Winfrey when I heard her talk about this a while back in a podcast. And Newton's third law is for every reaction, there's an equal but opposite reaction. So if you are waking up in the world and you are feeling lousy, you are feeling cynical, you are feeling irritable, you are putting out an energy out there in the universe that is already coming back to you. So it's already been done. It's already been done. So you have to think about it that way as well. When you wake up in the morning, are you waking up uplifted? Are you waking up discouraged? Are you waking up you know, kicking and screaming, or what? It, what is the energy that you bring to your day, that you bring to your world, that you bring to your divine, your universe, your God? Okay, that is such a huge component of the communication than, than that you practice interpersonally as well with your patients, with your colleagues, okay? So think about that. And ways to connect with this aspect of your communication practice is through, like I mentioned earlier a bit, gratitudes, because you're not grateful to yourself, you're grateful to a higher being, a higher force that is with you during your everyday life, that is guiding you, protecting you, that is with you in your everyday life, okay? Um, So gratitudes is one way. Second is visualization. What do you see for yourself? What is your intention for for your practice? It's deeper than you just going to work and earning a paycheck. Connecting with that as well is huge. And it doesn't even have to be you imagining just your working day in that, that environment, but the bigger vision for why you do what you do. Okay, the bigger impact, the bigger intention around all of that and again how that is connected to the greater world okay so visualization as well is huge and faith prayer that type of thing as well for me is another aspect that enhances my communication with with the world with the universe with god and the divine is having an a relentless belief in the greater good believing that there is always a better reason or an outcome for why I might be going through a challenging time, that something good has to come of it. And while it's hard to see in the moment, having that faith in what's uncertain right now is huge. When my dad was sick and still in hospital back in 2007, and this is one of the things I talk about in my book, um, is faith. 
And one of the things that we had to do as a family, especially my mom, who was by his bedside 16 hours a day minimum, was that she would have religious mementos of like St. Charbel, who is the saint of healing, Mother Mary, um, and even the Bible she had in his room as well that she would read every day. And, and that was her way of protecting my dad's energy from any outward negative energy that we were experiencing at times um, from other healthcare providers, okay, that maybe were imposing their own beliefs on ours or you know, not understanding of our reasons for making the decisions that we made at the time. And my mom had to do that because she was in that, in that environment a lot, okay? So that was her connecting with a greater source, right? And we held on to faith of the uncertainty because a lot of, because no one could basically explain why my dad was the way he was after his liver transplants and why he was having such a, a difficult time and why his neurological activity ceased, okay? Nobody could explain that. So we held on to the faith of that challenging time because, um, because it was so uncertain and nobody could give us a clear answer. So the answer had to come from a higher source for us. And that is what we believed and that is what we practiced. And that is a huge reason why my dad ended up coming home, why he knew who we were, why he was able to walk, talk and eat again. And the doctors w confirmed that as well. It was more of a spiritual healing than anything else. Okay, so don't forget that part of your communication and connection is that, that connection with the greater source in your life, whatever it might be. And if you don't have one, that's your choice. And, and I respect that. And I hope you can respect mine. And uh, <laughs> we go our ways, right? But whatever it lights you up, whatever enhances your practice as a provider, do it and connect with it. If you like this podcast, please take a screenshot, tag me. My handle on Instagram is at Best Obsessed with Jen. Share it in your stories and I will do the same. And as usual, I always appreciate reviews. If you could take the time to leave an honest review on iTunes, it takes 30 seconds. I do read all of them and I usually respond to them as well if I know who wrote them. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much again for allowing me into your ear and into your heart uh, twice a week. And I do hope you find these podcasts valuable. And until we chat next time, stay well and stay happy. So if you guys like this podcast, please subscribe and leave an honest review. Your feedback means everything to me. Your reviews are what moves this podcast forward, and I always appreciate receiving them. If you want to get a hold of me directly, reach out to me on social media. My handles are in the show notes, and you can always subscribe to my weekly newsletters at jennifergeorge.co so that we can stay connected. So until next time, thank you guys so much again for your ongoing support support.